How's it going, viewers? Mr. Incredible is back, and he's one of the punches, baby. Welcome to another video where I do a review, and that's right, we are finally going to be reviewing Chapter 2 of My Little Pony, Generation 5, Make Your Mark. Now, if you've stuck around this channel for a while, you all know that, as my title is Mr. Incredibrony, obviously I love My Little Pony, of course, and no joke, over a year ago, I did do a reaction to the trailer of Generation 5, the Netflix film, and I did review the movie as well in this very room which has got upgraded if you look behind me these are reviews of other films I've done in my school as a project every Fridays these and um and Zip wasn't here last time I did the review and um Slenderman wasn't wearing a fedora and Kissy Missy from Poppy Playtime wasn't hanging on my door handle so yeah a lot of things have changed in this room but just don't get too comfortable this is what this is just um a little talk where I'm just going to give my quick thoughts of Make Your Mark Chapter 2 now, I will say this, I really liked it, honestly. It was a lot better than I could have expected it to be. I was excited, honestly, when I reacted to the trailer on this this channel, and um, mostly because of how magic has basically evolved, because Earth ponies can now use magic, and there will all be strange vines coming out the ground. I was just very curious about it. I was also curious for the new songs, though, of course, because I thought the songs in Chapter 1 were sensational, especially Pip's... If everything's gonna be okay. I swear, she has the best singing voice. Like, if you ask me, Pip has the best singing voice, without a doubt. And, um, yeah, I was just really hype as well when, spoiler alert, Twilight Sparkle appeared at the end of the trailer, of course. Now, I'm not gonna spoil the chapter for you, since if you're a non-brony, or brony even, you should actually give this a look. It is actually a lot of fun. If you like silly cartoons for kids it's honestly my cup of tea really i would watch this any day even if i wasn't a brony but what i do appreciate about this chapter is that unlike chapter one which was just one episode with in total 45 minutes which tried to cram in a lot of the plot points for you but still had you questioning all kinds of bull crap chapter two is actually not one episode but eight episodes and all of them are exactly 20 three minutes I think and right off the bat that already makes this chapter a lot better than the first one because this one actually takes its time with processing certain and um, plot points and actually answering questions for you like how our ponies can control their magic and there's even an episode where um Izzy actually invites Misty to for a um I think for like some sort of like sleepover and um I thought it was really cool that was probably that was probably one of the better episodes, I would say, because in that episode, would, um, they the main five actually um, bond with Misty, who is like the assistant to um, the Alicorn, Opaline, of course. And I think it was played off so well, but Zip, of course, was the one who was, was up to um, her detective work, of course. Like, you, Zip, are making Hitch run for his money because she's a better detective than... And Hitch will ever be. But, I mean, he's a sheriff, not a detective. And Zip did make that joke in the movie. Oh, look, the sheriff just became a detective. One of the funniest lines in the film. But, yeah, um, I just love how Zip's always on her, like, observing attitude, knowing when something's up, you know. But I still love the episode mostly. This is a bit of a spoiler, but um, there is a point where they actually kind of give a backstory about the crystals. And Misty knows a bit more than Sunny does. So, I thought that was really cool. And you will love it. So, again... I'm not going to spoil it for you, but you should watch it for yourself to understand the context of it, really. So yeah, there are eight episodes in total, and I'm actually recording this room because this is where I watch the episodes on my on my huge-ass TV. So I'm actually just looking through each one to make sure I understand which one. So the first episode, Ode, um, has a really good, has the song, um, All You Need Is Your Beat, and I loved it. So um, yeah, the songs, once again, are really good in this one. And um, this one really just show how much that sometimes Izzy can not always keep up with her creativity. But she always has her friends like Pip to give, um, you know, inspiration and confidence. And I really like that. This is, I think this, this is evolving our characters more. As well as magic, the character evolved too. And we've always been there on the journey. And like this t-shirt has been a thing since I reacted to the trailer. I, I wore this t-shirt in the trailer reaction. Like that just shows how much I still love generation five it will i think but every review i've been hearing of g5 just keeps saying these questions like what's going on and stuff like stop questioning stuff and just appreciate it for what it is really yes there are some ridiculous plot points at some points but i don't care they're really easy to look over in my opinion i just love 
Generation 5 for the charm it brings, you know, it still feels like I'm watching My Little Pony. And when they call back to G4, I think that's really lovely. It's like they're saying, hey, Nostalgia Brony, shut this out. Remember this? Yeah, it existed. I just, I just feel appreciated, you know, and I think you should too. And, um, and I also think, um, I think my favourite episode, if you ask me, was probably episode, um, I would say episode two was my favourite, Growing Pains, and that's when magic starts to go a bit more wild in it, and there's actually a video you should check out called Main Street Compilation, where, um, which I did do a reaction to, but unfortunately, um, Hasbro, um, copyrighted it, so I can't upload it to YouTube, so... To, to, if you're wondering, Ludmill from Bulgaria, I can't upload my reaction to Main Street compilation because it has a bit of copyright scenes in it that um, Hasbro won't allow, so they took it off YouTube. So, yeah. But it's fine. I didn't get in trouble or anything. I just, it just, it just got banned off YouTube, so I'm sorry about that. But it doesn't matter. It doesn't annoy me, really. I can talk about the, the show, so that's good. And, um... It also shows how, like, how, kind of how evil Misty is as a villain, but not really. She's more of, like, a anxious and shy, you know, antagonist, really, because Opaline is the real mad girl. She even insults Misty, because apparently she doesn't have a cutie mark, because she mentions that the ponies' flanks always glow. Like, if you notice, whenever the Earth ponies, and even the Unicorn Pegasi, get their um, hoofs, hoofs together and make the magic combine, their cutie marks glow, like the G4 characters did when the cutie map was calling them, and the magic just goes to being more smooth, really. So, the glowing tushies have always been a significant plot point in the film. Emphasis on the plot, because you get it, I watch it for the plot. It's a it's a brony meme, I'm sure you understand. <laughs> I still think it's funny to this day. I don't, but it, I still kind of watch it for the plot. That's just one of the reasons I watch My Little Pony, trust me. It's not the reason. <laughs> but my point is, um, I just thought that was so well done. And the part where Opaline just told Misty about not having a Q mark, honestly, it upset me, really. So, yeah, it made me care for more about Misty. And I do love Misty as a character. I think she's a really cool four-side character. And um, Opaline is a pretty intimidating villain, but we haven't really seen her, like, attack yet. So that's my only complaint, that we haven't seen, like, any, like, big epic battle yet. I'm hoping that happens at some point. But for now, this is what we're getting is pretty good. And, um, yeah, each episode is really well done. I also love the episode of, I think it's episode four, when Sunny accidentally exposes her alicorn magic and it makes every citizen in Maritime Bay try to like ask for like autographs and stuff. It's really hilarious and it'll be selfies. I especially love it for two reasons. One, because it actually reminds me so much of um turning red when Maylin Lee accidentally flaunted her panda in school, in the school bathrooms and three girls spotted it and they said, I want an autograph, I want, I'll give you money. And then they decided, you know, let's show off the panda in videos and get money. So it just reminded me a bit of that, but not exactly, because then it didn't start making money from it. She just got popularity, really. And the best part of the episode is the second reason why I love this episode is because, guess what? Sugar Moonlight gets more lines. Actually, she gets lines. I don't think she spoke in the movie. But yeah, Sugar Moonlight spoke, and I'm happy. I was really happy. So, um, yeah. I just think this chapter two is just a lot better than chapter one, in my opinion. It was a lot more enjoyable. It expanded on the characters and really tried to show us how magic has evolved in Equestria, really. It's really cool, honestly. And um, as a curious person, I um, I really appreciate it. So um, thank you so much, Hasbro, for this crazy but amazing, yet, but yet, yet amazing chapter two. And I will definitely look forward to chapter three. Unless there are more episodes come to chapter two, which I'm excited for, I really hope we learn the under the origin of the magic really and we do get to know understand the origin of the crystals that brought the pony kind together so definitely look forward to that so yeah i'm not going to spoil the show for you guys but just watch it for yourselves it's it's honestly incredible and um yeah just overall really good and um oh yeah probably the funniest part of the um chapter two was probably the um, episode eight when um sparky sparkaroni got went missing and um they literally say we need to get Hitch's baby dragon back ASAPP. And that stands for as soon as pony possible. That is, there are, I think ever since G5 became a thing, there's been so many more horse puns than ever. I don't even think G4 made that many horse puns, actually. I don't know. But either way, it's it's just hilarious. So yeah, it's so much fun. And yeah, I, I, I loved chapter two. It was just, like I said, it was really good. And I know, and I know you enjoyed it too, Detective Zip. <laughs> yeah you did so yeah viewers i love you all and that's gonna be my last video for today and if you've seen 
make your mark chapter two tell me down below what you guys think of it and um yeah um oh uh, okay i've been recording for 10 minutes that's not, i think that's long enough so um yeah overall really enjoyable and i will look forward to the next amanda episode that i will also talk about on this channel at some point yeah so sorry that you won't see any reactions from me but if you want me to check out mlp tell your tale at some point i will gladly do that since i think there are compilation videos as well of the episode so yeah look forward to those at some point in the future but until then if you're just making a video, leave a like on it. Don't forget to subscribe if you're interested. Follow me on Instagram, link down below. And until then, stay positive, keep calm, stay safe, be incredible. And as always, Brody on. Peace.